to our Midlands and National Park and I'm taking a bit of a side drive to see something amazing. That's where I'm going. Terminal Kesa is one of the most unique stops along the PCT. It is a slight detour, but totally worth seeing it. Pretty cool, huh? Most of the last national park burned in 2021 due to Dixie fire. So it was ashy and dusty with no tree cover. I felt like heaven when I came across a good lake. <laughs> Yeah, what's okay? There you go. <laughs> ah, eagle eye. It's a part of the trail. A lot of people skip it. But why not? As it says 2600 miles, I'll do as much as it as I can. Walk inside the lava tube, so that's crazy. It's time to say goodbye to the Larson National Park and... I got a thousand four hundred miles. These are all the hikers who is here. Um, this place has been very good to me and they have rooms, they have free showers, so it's heaven for hikers. It's a very tourist location I'm right now at Barnes. This bridge is still under construction, the dam. Soon. The sunsets are beautiful, and this is one of the best in this city. I'm actually walking towards Shasta and the trees are high and this is what Northern California is supposed to be. That's a perfect place to jump in in a hundred degree today. Yeah, and also I'm getting a haircut and a beard cut because screw that Instagram challenge. I'm so done. <laughs> Sweaty. What? That's 2,500. <laughs> and it's hot. Too when I get in town, I'm more than happy to sit around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get push uh, yeah. Get back oh yeah. 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 But that's why I'm going back to the viewing solo. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's awesome. That's a lot of love. I was so done with my old hair and beard, so yeah. Yes, this is the crew that's going to need to either get rescued or just gonna go for walking. I wanted to go back on trail at the same time, I did not want to go back on trail. It's pretty, but at the same time, it's damn too hot. It's around 
about 8 degrees I think at least close to it and I'm still walking I'm trying to get like two and a half three more miles in before I stop it's almost two o'clock and I need to find a place to stop take a break take a siesta because it's too damn hot now but it's freaking beautiful though <laughs> Wait, what are you reading? And I'm going to jump in. Cool down. So, when I came to the trailhead, I got to know there's a fire. So I was like going to go 20, mi 20 miles from there then hitch out but apparently the fire has already spread past that point so now I'm trying to get back to the trailhead and get the hell out of here came back from trailhead and everyone is trying to hitch there's a lot of stranded hikers stranded, they got a hitch and stranded, stranded I felt hopeless when the fires broke out. I walked 4 miles back to the trailhead and got a hitch back to Shasta. There were 4 hikers and our 4 large backpacks were crammed into a car. At Shasta, I was reunited with my original trail family. I am genuinely grateful for the kindness of strangers who helped out all the hikers. All these fire trucks. We decided to skip everything from Etna to Timberline Lodge, a total of 550 miles. This is simply because there were multiple wildfires along the trail all the way up there. If we did not skip, it meant hitching around these trail closures at various times. I never thought I would pass the Oregon-California border in Bob's truck. Bob from Oregon Boys became our trail angel who completed PCT over 11 years. I met him during Sierra's when he was in his last section. Bob and Sally opened their hopes to five strangers. I don't know how to thank them for everything they did, from driving more than 10 hours to hosting us. I simply cried. Bob said they got so much trail magic during last 11 years and they are just paying it forward. Everyone in Oregon! <laughs> Hiking in Oregon for the first time! It felt strange to be in Northern Oregon. Suddenly, you could see snow capped mountains again. There was plenty of water and it wasn't hotting. I was sad that I had to skip miles, but I knew I would return to Oregon and hike those miles before I went home. Maybe I'm meant to see Washington, North Oregon during August because it's it's pretty out here without I mean it's getting cold but at the same time it's it's, it's really beautiful maybe it's better than what I thought YouTube. So, I want to talk about Bob, uh, Bob from Oregon Boys. He's the one who gave me a ride from Etna to all the way to Timberline Lodge when the fires broke out. He hiked with his brother-in-law all the way from Mexico to Canada over 11 years. And he did his last se two sections this year. So, I met him during Sierra's. On the way to Kentimeter South, I met these two guys and it was, you know, in the 60s. So a lot of, you know, young guys like when my just keep passing by and I decided to talk to them. And I found out one is a doctor and Bobby is a writer. And he said, when you come to Oregon and when you want to go around Jefferson Closure, give us a call. And I was like, all right, I'll, I'll give you a call. What ended up happening was McKinney fire broke out and we were kind of stranded at Shasta and trying to figure out what to do. And I decided to call him. He said pretty much, okay, I'll come and pick you guys up. You can stay at my house for the night and the next day I can drop you off at the trailhead. 
and I could not believe it because that meant he has to come from his hometown to pick us up, which is like two and a, two to three hours of drive, then go back again, so that's six hours, then also go north and drop us off at Timberline Lodge and come back again, so that's 13 hours. And apart from that, he hosted us at his home. So I felt, I felt so much of gratitude because it's just not just me and for others who are my like trail family. Anyway, um, this is Bob's book. Uh, it's called Cascade Summers. This has his adventures along PCT in Oregon. And also he's writing another book uh, about PCT. Uh, of his experience over the last 11 years as well. Anyway, I would hope that you would, you know, buy this book and you read it. Uh, I just wanted to just do something that I can to promote this book. That's my way of paying, paying it forward, paying it back. Yeah. Well, that's about it. See you next time.